Now, let's start with the encoding part. So we have already done EDA, we have imported our data set, we have looked into how our data looks and we have got some beautiful insights from the data. Now let's do the encoding part and again why we need encoding because logistic regression is going to read your data in numerical format but you can see that gender what we have over here is in uh, string so we need to convert it. So for this let's we use encoding. So let's do df pd dot get underscore dummies if you if you could recall all of these data and we are going to pass gender so now if we check df so we have something like this so for male we have one for female we have zero and which looks quite uh, the same thing okay, for female we have zero for male uh, we have one now what i am going to do over here is i am going to drop the gender column from here and i am going to concatenate this male one into this so whenever we have one it's a male whenever we have zero it's a female so i just need the male column i'm going to take this complete column of male concatenate it with the this uh, with our data frame and we are going to drop gender okay so let's start by concatenating. so data is equal to pd dot concat so we use this function for concatenating and then we are going to pass bf dot iloc so as we need uh, so all of the things okay we need all of the columns all of the rows okay all of the rows let's check one and after this let's pass out data and we need this in axis equal to one okay so let's check dfi log is this square basis data and if we pass in the complete data it should be looking just fine okay now let's check our data data dot head okay so we have this now if we you ever want to check if your value is correct or not always try to break this question so if you check df dot uh, i lock you can see that i have uh, all the uh, values of the mail so what i have done is i lock is integer based so we have taken all the rows all the rows and the column number one if i would have mentioned zero i would have gotten female so let's take for the male okay and what i have done is i have concatenated the complete value of this with data okay so the format for concatenation if you want to check so again there's a doc string for that and okay let's check so again yeah so we have iterable ND frame and the mapping hasable ND frame. Okay, so we have both data frame and we have to mention the axis of it. So at axis one, we are assigning it. If you have mentioned axis zero, so you would have gotten NAN values because all of these are columns and we are assigning it in columns. So whenever we have column values, we put uh, axis number one in valid index. Okay, we need to uh, run this code once more. So let's rerun this all the cells once more. If something like this happens. This is quite common and don't worry about this. Okay. So we have got out all the values. If something like this happens, what you can do is just go into kernel and what you can do is restart and run all cell. Now I have the male column and I need to drop out the gender column. So for that I have data.drop and then let's pass column is equal to the I need to drop the gender and I will place in place in place is equal to two. Let's check data. So yeah, we have all the required data points that we need. We have male, 
uh, we have the gender of it one is for again male zero is for female age uh, we have the estimated salary and we have all the values if he has purchased run work now what we need to do is we need to split our data set into x and y so our x will be all the values of male age and estimated salary and uh, y will be our purchased so let's split our data set and then we will break it out into a uh, train test split so x equal to data dot i log and what we need is we need all the columns all the rows and for x we need all the values till the last one okay dot values Oops. let's do it capital x and for small y so data dot i log again we need all the rows and we need the last column so for this this if you want to check x so we have array of values and for y again we have an array of values now i am to call out my train test split so from sk learn dot model selection import train test split there's a typo let's check yeah so everything is fine now as i've told you before what i usually do in this kind of scenario rather than writing the complete flow uh, code for it train test split and let's call out the doc string and i'm going to copy out the example that we have over here so we have this example let's copy this out paste it similarly over here keep this in a single line we have x we have y and let's keep the test size as the data set is very small so 2 5 and the random state as 0 uh, you're going to always change the values if you want because uh, if you want to get the same value as me you have to put random state is equal to 0 so we have x train again if you want to check x train and similarly we have our y train and y test and x test so that's it now the next thing that we need to do is as i've told you that the salary that we have is in different ranges so uh, the distribution plot you can see that the salary starting salary starts less than twenty-five thousand. so almost i guess ten thousand, and it is still one lakh fifty thousand. so it varies a lot we need to scale it in a single scale so for that we are going to call from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar let's create an object of it standard scalar call it out everything is fine now i'm going to convert my x train and x test i'm going to scale them up so i have x train let's take x train and i'm going to take our x test okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to transform them that is scale them up so i'm going to do fit transform and I'm going to pass my x underscore train to this. The same thing I'm going to do this for this. Let's pass the values x train y train. Okay, x train, and I needed to do it for x test. Let's do it for test. Okay, so we have x train and x test. Now, if you want to check out the value, let's print out uh, print out a single uh, 10 values and check if we are doing the uh, right thing. So, x train, I'm going to take uh, the first 10 values and let's run this. So, yeah, so you can see that in x train, uh, we are taking the first 10 rows and all the columns that we have. So, 0, 9, 8, 0, what we had before was uh one nineteen nineteen hundred and for that we have 
everything is scaled so everything is scaled between uh, minus one to one so our data is scaled our data is splitted and our data has been encoded all we need to know do is to implement our logistic regression model so let's catch up in our next video and implement our logistic regression model